I've been through a lot, but that is not my narrative right now. And I'm all about truth in the moment. If I went out there and I sold my past as my present, I'll be lying. Mm. I'll be lying. I, I'm not one, who I want life for. Who won't beat me? I'm not what I be. Old. I be younger though, but I'm more the years. Not be the years or the amount of the years, but the quality of the years. It's been a lot, and I learned. I've grown so much. Responsible for an entire family. An entire family. Last born with the Carey family for it. It's no beans. How many? How many siblings do you have? I've got three elder siblings, two brothers, one sister. Um, my uncle still stays with us. Used to stay with us since my dad before my dad passed on. My mom came back as soon as my dad passed on. We had to take care of her as well. And you know, it's just a lot of responsibility. If I went in the house, I had to sell my phone to pay my mom's bill. I'm proud of who I've become. So if I get in the house and I talk down on who I am, that's telling God that he ain't done nothing. And grace don't work like that. You gotta appreciate grace for it to abound. And I respected my grace. I kept doing the work. I wasn't trying to put out the narrative that I'm an underdog. I don't want people to see me like that. I want people to see me as the person I want to be. The person I carry capacity to be, the, the, the capacity of a service to humanity that I carry. That's what I want to be. I want to serve humanity at the great capacity that I carry. And that's who I am. I'm not about to let people think that pity me. God forbid, don't pity me. Yeah. Don't pity me. Yeah. See my value. And that's what I saw. That's what I saw. That's what I was about. That's my truth. That's who I am. Bunch of questions flying in my head, right? And I'm just, I'm just gonna throw. I should throw it at you. Throw it at me, bro. Kiki <laughs> 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 man. Was it church? Was it a history lesson? Was it philosophy? Was it motivational speaking? Was it therapy session? I go by the name of Chewy Chu, right here on Bella Nigeria's post eviction interviews for Big Brother Nigeria, brought to you by Johnny Walker. And while I'm trying to figure out the answer, you need to watch this conversation with Hermes, and maybe you might have that answer for me. Enjoy. Hey, appreciate you, my G. Appreciate you. One question. Hey, hey Hermes or Michael it. Jackson? Ah, I'm a Hermes, so Michael Jackson has come. What you want to look? Hey, you have come, you have go. I'm here. <laughs> hey, I'm here. I'm here. I see the fit though. Yeah, Tiana did the job. Oh, man, yeah, yeah, Tiana is the G. Empire. Jeez. Reciprocating the energy. Shout out to Tiana, yeah. I miss you. I haven't seen her in a while. Yeah, she, she's just doing an amazing thing. Absolutely grateful to her because I'm gonna be people. This <laughs> <laughs> she run them. <laughs> so shout out, shout out. Last Tiana's time I saw place. you, we were like facing off against each other, rebels. Yeah, I'm on. Don't call me again, no. Because <laughs> Bobo have gone and got that energy. <laughs> Late now. Working okay. Out, working out 60, 60 days straight. No beans. Sheesh. 60 days straight, bro. If you will come, you will collect. Okay. That's on God. I will see you. We'll see. I will see you. We'll see. I will see you. Me too, I will see you. Oh, dude. You are like the, you know, one thing, when I saw you on, when I saw you on Big Brother, mm. I was like, yeah, that man is a competitor. <laughs> like, that man is a competitor. Oh God, bro. I'm going to bring the energy anytime, every time I need to, bro. Every time, anytime I need to. But it was like the one invasion we didn't see coming, man. Never inspired it. As a competitor, like, you were trying to go all the way, yeah? What do you mean trying? An entire community depending on me getting the 100 million. It wasn't just me. Mm. Family, an entire community of worship, get to be precise. Mm. Made me to come back with that money and put in the work. Mm. Yeah, because we've been doing a lot. We just lacked resource. And, you know, if I got in that, that would have been a lot of resource to point to so much work on the ground. That, that a lot of possibility held down just because of the lack of resource. So if I got in that, like I wanted to, I was so sure I was going to, that's a capacity because I feel like I already did a lot to keep the content going. I knew it was a show. I kept the people entertained with everything, the boxing, getting out there when I needed to. But I was real doing it. I didn't feel the need to do anything for time. It's just how I felt for time. I 
kept doing 100, I kept the energy 1000. When I wanted to compete, I competed. When I wanted to love, I did it 100%. Um, everything I wanted to do in the house and I found a space to do it, I did it with everything that I had. That was me competing every moment and every time. It just, you know? Um, but then again, I believe in God's plan. And if I'm out right now, if I'm not supposed to be out, God, nothing, nothing gonna take me out of there. If I'm out right now, that's God's plan. And I've been saying so much about how the only time that I got is hard work. I'm willing to put in the work. And nah, they great speak for me. So it's what it is. I mean, that's one thing I've known about you. Like when I've seen you in pockets, right? Um, you've had the exhibition at the the African, the, the arts, she, the foundation, the, the, the uh, foundation place. The, uh, the African Arts Foundation. African arts, found, arts Foundation. Um, if you count the things you had on, did you make I open my mouth? Yeah, up? please run me through. Because so, I, I have bits and pieces of go it. Go Colors page. Mm. Colors TV. Go there page. You can see my face like this. The ambassador for France in Nigeria, I go her page, we see my face like this. Um, what else? Bonus video, David's video. Yeah, um, the focalistic joint. Um, we're currently working on something with the Prince Klaus funds on a major level, touring with some of the kids from our community. See, I know be picking. And people have been asking me why it is that I didn't sell the underdog coming from the slum narrative. Yeah, that's my past. I suffered a lot. I'm not suffering right now. I'm putting in so much work. A lot of people underestimating me because of my past, my history, where I'm coming from. They don't believe that somebody from that far off can make this. I, it's supposed to be impossible that I'm here right now. Yeah, it's supposed yeah, yeah, to be. Yeah, it's supposed to be. It's yeah. supposed to be, but it, what, are, what are impossibilities? You know, I think there's what one thing. I, one I thing I liked about you, bro, is like, I don't think you ever played the victim. God forbid, I ain't a victim. I believe that everything inspires you. Pain can inspire you to greatness as much as pleasure can. Mm. It's just up to you to take the inspiration or consider things like to happen to you instead of for you. So if you lack certain resource and you choose to have a mindset of because I don't have this, I'm going to figure it out. And mm. when I have it, I'm going to work with it. Mm. Or because I don't have this, I won't do it. Mm. It's a decision in my opinion. And this decision is hard to come to. I'm not going to play anybody's reality down. Things are hard at separate capacities and everyone's reality is truthful to them. Mm. But I just took responsibility for where I was and where I want to be and I put in the work. I didn't blame nobody for my, for my situation for time. I just knew what I was. I knew where I was. I knew where I wanted to be. I saw critically the work that I needed, needed to do with the spaces I needed to get into, the kind of characters that, the, the kind of emotions I allowed in that space. And I trained myself to be the person that I want to be. That's me looking as far as I want to be, doing research in that space as to what is required to be in that space, what is required for an individual to be valued within space, emotional intelligence. How can I get in that space within my individuality? What can I give? No, what can I get? I want something from that space, it's obvious. But what can I give to make me valuable enough to remain in space? So I taught myself to go into spaces. I'm already on uh, the French Ambassadors page. I already traveled um, with my own piece to Amsterdam to a festival there, representing. I've done a lot in Nigeria, a lot of very reputable festivals here in Lagos. I've danced as an artist. I'm no, I'm no kid. Yeah. So I've been through a lot, but that is not my narrative right now. And I'm all about truth in the moment. If I went out there and I sold my past as my present, I'll be lying. Mm. I'll be lying. I, I'm not one, who I want life for, who won't beat me? My adult I be old. <laughs> yeah. I be young adult, but I'm all the years, maybe the years old, the amount of the years or the quality of the years. It's been a lot and I learned, I've grown so much. Responsible for an entire family. An entire family, the last born with the carry family for it. It's no beans. How many, how many siblings do you have? I've got three elder siblings, two brothers, one sister. Um, my uncle still stays with us, used to stay with us since my dad, before my dad passed on. My mom came back as soon as my dad passed on. We had to take care of her as well. And you know, it's just a lot of responsibility. If I went to the house, I had to sell my phone to pay my mom's bill. I'm proud of who I've become. So if I get in the house and I talk down on who I am, that's telling God that he ain't done nothing. And grace don't work like that. You gotta appreciate grace for it to bound. And I respected my grace. I kept doing the work. I wasn't trying to put out the narrative that I'm an underdog. I didn't want people to see me like that. I want people to see me as the person I want to be, the person I carry capacity to be, the, the, the capacity for service to humanity that I carry. That's what I want to be. I want to serve humanity at the great capacity that I carry. And that's who I am. I'm not about to let people think that Pity me, God forbid, don't pity me, yeah. don't pity me. Yeah. See my value, and that's what I sold. That's what I sold, that's what I was about, that's my truth, that's who I am. 
bunch of questions flying in my head, right? And I'm just, I'm just gonna throw. I throw it at you. Throw it at me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> You did, man. No sense. <laughs> you said you taught yourself stuff. Yeah. Did you ever have any mentors? Have you had any mentors? Who do you look to, like, uh, close and or from so afar? So, I have a lot of mentors. First off is my dad. My dad brought us up under the temple of freedom. He never required us to do good in school. He just gave us all the support we needed to do well in school, just by the books. Whatever report card you came home with, he trusted that you did your best because every time you came back home, um, you don't get punished for bad grades? Puni nah, never. Did you Came get bad grades? He, he didn't tell us not to play, he just, you know, whenever we needed to cook, whenever we needed water in the house, he just told us to be very responsible within the right that he meant to be responsible. He didn't, he didn't even tell us to go to church because he was very spiritual. Now, mentors, I have a lot from spiritual leaders, people who've done amazing well from every religion. That's Buddha, that's Prophet Muhammad, that's Jesus. I take knowledge anywhere knowledge is lying and I take the truth I process it and I understand it within my own capacity to understand the truth. I believe in African spirituality. I believe it's done a lot. It still is relevant. It always has been. We know what it is. Um, so who shaped you? Your dad? We just say your who dad. Who shaped me? Yeah. Who, who was the? Haven't the, you heard the core person? Haven't you heard, bro? That it takes, shaped. It takes a village. It takes a village, but like you know how everything has a ripple effect. You start from somewhere, then you. So my dad inspired freedom. Mm. Um, the community of Oyushoki gave me the courage to be myself because every day that I came out, I looked like this. Blonde hair, rings all over the place, people coming to Juman. This is just aesthetics. I love to look like this. And if you look back into the history of Africa, these are norms, beads, accessories. Tattoos, just adorning yourself, that, tattoos. Yeah. These are just aesthetics to project royalty, to project a sense of self that is strong. All of the characters on my hand mean something very... That's why you'll never take a bead from me. You'll never take a ring off from me. Because these are very personal. I, I love them. And they, they represent a sense of self that I will not forget. So I put them on me in characters just to remind myself that when I need to be cunning, I'll be more cunnier than a snake. Death will come for us all. I'm very spiritual. Black goes with everything. I'm black. It's my representation. Lion, the pride of the jungle. Mm. Cross, very spiritual. Jesus and everything that he represents. That's an oak tree. The strongest to ever live. Even when it's dead, it's still going to stand for years to come. Legendary. That's my brand. This, another cross. A sailor. Whatever it is. Like, you're going to sail to many places. And you're going to have to come back. You're going to have to have an anchor. All of these things are a representation of me. On the different templates, I'm just expressing them. In Ion. Dude, I'm, I'm trying to decide here. Yeah. Am I in church? Am I in a history lesson? Bro, you in everything. Am I in a philosophy? Hermes, Hermes. Where am I, Hermes? Hermes, Hermes. You saying with Hermes, bro? Hermes didn't go to no school. Didn't go to just the streets. Well, you didn't go to school. Bro, I mean, you went to like school. I went to school, you... passed at Ogudu, but I mean, I didn't pass YX, so it's like. And you stopped after that? Bro, I, I took jam. I didn't have a YF result. I took post to me. I got into Yaba Tech. I saw my name on the merit list. I was supposed to study theater. But I looked at it, looked out, did my own research with my head and said, people will come out and look for a job. Why not go intern with someone who's already doing it? And then, and that's what I did. Four years with a creative company, got all the knowledge I needed. And now I can create music. Mm. I can create light. Mm. I can create an entire mood. I am creative. Mm. I can dance. I can direct dance. Oh, yeah, you I can know dance what drama sure. is about. Yeah. I can direct it. I know what emotions and expressing it are from my own perspective. And I can direct it. Putting all of that together is how I travel, came back, and all of the other things that I've done. Like I've grown. I'm not I'm no kid. And I'm not I'm not about to tell somebody a lie like uh, please pity me. I've been through no. a lot of you know, Which is cool. Do you do I now? Balance me out here real quick. With your knowledge of the arts and putting on a show, is it safe to say that as much as there were parts of you that was yourself in the house, you also consciously remembered to give them a show? Yeah, of course. All my life I've been in the media. Um, when I came out, a lot of people from the production said I was too camera conscious. I'm like, what does that mean to be camera conscious? What do you think I went out there to do? Like to you guys, you feel like it's a certain way to play the game. Because it's your, it's your, yeah, it's, it's your space. You, you're, you're not, bro, you know see, where the cameras are. Anybody with the apply for Big Brother, just know, see that audition process, you go almost die alone. Like it is hectic as anything you can think of. Mm. It's like applying for the greatest job of your life. 
Mm. They go make you work for it. Mm. I work for my spot in that place. Who's to tell me how to go about playing my role in that space? Nobody. Mm. I ain't going there with a strategy. Mm. Just everything that I had to give, all the energy, and every time that I saw the camera on me, I was actually looking for the camera. As long as, as soon as I see it on me, I am giving them a show. You are the first person to admit that you saw a I, camera. I'm, uh, I didn't see them, I didn't find them. I, was, I didn't just see it, I was looking for it. Because that's the only thing that I went there. I so had the camera it. was like, Psst. Oh, I'm on the giving way. Like, you gotta be seeing this. I have it to give. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> but like, I feel like it's easy to to have a misconception that man, you're always deep. What are we talking about? I feel like I don't know. I feel like I can't carry you to go to the club. You can just see this Johnny Walker and just be like, you see this, this this Johnny Walker from John Walker and Sons has a history and a line of the, the, the barrels, Bro, the thing. I is that you? That is me in my private space. I am too deep. But when you're the chill, are you deep like now, that Now, I have had to be in different space mm. at different points in time. And if anything, if any emotional intelligence applies to anything, understanding what you If you come and follow me and talk, it's me that will avoid you. Because if you see me in the club, I'm there to loosen up. Right. Like, you're not even able to match my energy. As a matter of fact, you see who's that madman? Because that's what that space requires me to be. And I will respect the laws that govern that space under my capacity to be in that space. If I go and talk to you and you're asking me a question, I will give you everything I have to over. If it's too much, that's for you. You ask a question, bro. You ask for it. And that's what I had to give. I can't imagine you and Le Corose in the same house, big yes, brother, big rap, but like you and Lico Rose are just like <laughs> boom, 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 But then like, again, that's like saying you can't imagine me and Fina in the same house. The, the truth about real alphas is they know how to share space with another alpha. Mm. You don't have to compete. Being an alpha is knowing your rights within space and then owning that. If another person knows their right within space, it's fine. There's enough space for everybody to shine. Mm. A fake alpha would try to intimidate the other alpha and they feel like they're fighting for space, fighting for what? Can you be me? Try and die now. I won't even try to be you. Because I have to have lived your life to understand what that means. There's a saying. So it's like, it's like, it's like what it is. There's a, there's a saying by Dr. Seuss that says, um, you are you. Um, that is truer than true. Um, nobody can ever be you are than you or something like that. It's you a, see, that is, that this is just another definition for the kind of freedom that I express love to be. Mm. So I know that one of the questions you probably want to ask me is what's going on with the women in my life? So I'll go, I'll go, I'll go, I'll do this. This guy, this guy, so... Chill, it, chill, it, chill, I'll do this, it, it, I'll do this. So you just said that. And under, did, under the template of what you just said, mm -hmm. what I believe to have love to give is to be myself, to define who I want to be and to understand that and to communicate that within willingness for this other person to make an effort towards understanding it, that this is what it means for me to have love to give. Would you make a journey towards understanding it? If you would put in that work, Tomorrow I wake up and I might not have 100% tolerance. Are you willing to deal with that? Tomorrow I might be different. Tomorrow I might say I'm not doing it again. Are you willing to deal with that? If you can accept that truth and you tell me how you now, whatever this other individual means to be, if they can understand themselves, have love to give, can tell me how I can support that, or be a part of that. I can respect it and over time, I will understand that they will grow, they will change. An effort will be made to understand this new person that has woken up today. How do you want to be loved today? That's a constant journey. And when you do not want to give that love, it will hurt. But I will understand that what it means for you to have love to give at this point in time is to not be with me. And that is what I want to support because it's your happiness I'm looking for. See, there's nothing good in this life that's required any ease. School where I go, it's not easy, but it was a necessity for success. I did it regardless. Exam, every time we see, for example, you're you could tench like this, but then as I say, if you don't pass out, you go fail. And nobody wants to be just whatever it is. It is just another step within the journey. But you want to pass, so you're going to give your all to anything that you choose. So the, the template that people are looking for something is a lie. Once they, or people don't know what they want, once they find they know, they feel it. And once they find it, they will put in everything to keep it. Hermes. And that's what it is. Like, Hermes. And that's what it is for me. Now, all the individuals in my relationship are individuals and they define what it means for me to love them. And these are individuals. There's no one, there's no second, there's no third. An individual, and I am not responsible for giving or generating somebody's love. I will support your love. And what that means for time is I might not have it to give. You gotta understand that. If I have to give, I'll give it to you. Mm -hmm. You have to understand that for time, over time. This individual is an individual decision. I want to love with Allison. I hope it works out. 
we not had a conversation now, sir. MS. It's just MS. It's not happening. MS. I don't care you go where you want to go. MS. I don't care you go You're dazzling me. Nah, nah, like, I, 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 I not go school. <laughs> I dude, I, I did not understand anything you said. I, mm. I, 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 you just boom, and now I have more questions. Hit me, hit me, hit me, hit me. Nadia. Right, I think it's you. First things first, I wasn't gonna ask like everybody else was asking. Uh, yeah. Secondly, is this how you give these babes lines? They just. I wish there were lines. Though. Agree. Uh -uh. It's when you know truth and you speak truth. Guy, God works with. It's like jazz, bro. It's God energy, it's grace, bro. Like, because you just go what like, you, what do you call spirituality? I, I'm not, I'm not responsible for the love. It's your love, but you just chose to give me the love. But then the love is out there like a blossom and the flower in the middle I of the garden. I'm not for you. And and the babe just says yes. Oh my God, Hermes, you're so deep. Is that how it works? <laughs> like, bro. I mean, sometimes it does, but it's not like that's the plan. I will just tell you truth. And I think a lot of people just think the truth is too bitter. They can't, they can't lay it out there. Imagine I have to tell you that. Oh. I will love only you. And I know inside my chest, I know say as soon as you agree, I don't need this other person. Mm. And I go push you on. I won't lie to you. So I'll tell you that I will give you this. But I also carry capacity to be there. So there's no room for cheating. There's only understanding. So in 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 summary, just tell the babe, I mean you're a bad demon. No, is that is that the But I mean, I mean ethical. I mean, ethical Yoruba yeah, demon. Like, I'll give you, I'll give you I mean, advanced notice. If they put it notice. like that, everyone is open to their opinion. So you see, however they see it is how they see it. I can't take anyone's truth from them. So it's what it is. But I know my truth, and I'm leaving it out. And it's a beautiful thing. Yeah, you have a lot of truth, bro. Yeah, it's a, lo it's a lot of hard work, bro. It's a lot. With you, imagine one relationship. How hard it is to make a journey towards understanding one person over time. And I go argue. And I go say this, I say this thing. I want them. And I can't decide whether I want to stay together. But I don't want to stay together. And I imagine managing two. With the same intensity. You work hard. I that's all I do. But you guess, work hard. Yes, yes, bro. Guess what hard work is. If you do hard work and you figure it out, the next time you need to do them because you don't do the hard work and figure them out. You give us the applied templates, so it don't become smart work. If you took a month to figure it out, the next time you need to do them like this. That's why I work hard every time. That's why the only talent constantly. I taught myself how to play basketball. I went to a coach, his team, and I told him I want to be a part of your team. He told me to get out because I had one tata the this thing shorts on. I said to myself, guy, I will be so bad or so good that nobody in your team will be able to beat me. Oh, I did it in months. I just go to the course, carry boy, bought a ball, I hustled, did wash, I washed bike here, wash napeb there, da da ba, go buy a ball, buy new shorts, buy one shoe, it always a tear, but I, I learned how to sew, so I could sew a bag on myself. Go to the course, they would have learned, oh, that's what the traveling is called, or oh, this is what this is called. So I learned the game. But I decided, nobody tell me, as they call them, I did learn now. So don't do this, don't do this. As soon as they leave, big doors, I'll go carry body through bar, I'll go practice. The only way that I savvy jump right from time. So yeah, I go to the center, I'll say jump, I'll get the ball, give it back to them. That's the only thing I was doing. Like, anytime I catch the body, like, I, I only go for a rebound. But I got a chance to play because I was good at rebound. And I built, I started dribbling. Now, you're about to join the watch my tape. You're about <laughs> to join the Tigers. Nah, bro. Like, I'm about to build NBA Africa with NBA Africa, bro. That's what it is. So basketball, American football, which other sports do you play? Um, uh, I, I did play table tennis. Um, you don't want to. I was on the street because I'm um, smashing, smashing. Ah, ah, nobody <laughs> does this thing. Ah, toss me, toss me. No, toss me, no play. <laughs> yeah, pack one. Um, but I feel I, I know for a fact that I'm a very athletic uh, individual. So I, 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 can, I know that for a I fact. I can do anything I put my mind to. I just, I mean, I wasn't playing fo American football until Tyler told me that you could do this. It's just a we navigate some of the basketball knowledge and then put them to good use and that was it and i started mm -hmm. practicing and I'm, you you can tell i'm a threat on that pitch everybody knows it if you're not talking about you say you just want just one bugan bro the way i chose you're right you're right you're right but like since we, we're talking about these women right and i just you know like, let's go let's who doesn't go, like talking about women you know come on bro <laughs> bro so you, they share you like you know, like you're. I like to think you're just you're just generous. So you, you're a very welcoming guy. So that's why there's more than one woman in your life. You're very welcoming, hmm. right? Stay yeah, with me. I'm, Stay I'm, with I'm me. with you. I'm with you. Yeah. Don't don't carry me anywhere. Okay, I'm not carrying anywhere. Good. Please. Don't move. <laughs> don't move. Finish. Finish. Land up, big land. Are you okay if she also has another man on the side? On the side. Like or. Oh, in the oh, if she, she's welcome. See, I'm not willing to give or take what I'm not willing to give. Like the same energy I'm giving. Mm. Like I, 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 I did. This is not. This is not my truth to put out there. 
But me and Margarita will constantly have a, like I did dash some advice. Like guys do like this is a guy thing. Don't fall for it. Do like this, go like this, go like this to get the real. Bro, like we are first friends. Like I will ride and die for you. There's a purity in your statements that I can Like appreciate. I will ride and die for you. That is the commitment. But under that commitment, we know there is love. There is a priority. I will prioritize you over any other human being in this world. So once something will not make you okay, and I need to curb it, and I have the capacity to curb it, I will. If I don't have the capacity to curb it, I will tell you why I do not have the capacity to curb it. It's left to you to understand or say under this template, I don't feel love. I don't feel like this is what I want to continue with and end it there because you have to have love for yourself. Are you, ever gonna, yourself. are you ever gonna get married? Bro, that's a difficult conversation, man. That's a lot of that's that's a lot of people that is involved. A lot of conversation has to go down. I want to get married. I want to have family. I want to have a family. But like like I always tell everyone, like, I mean, the African situation allows for. But it doesn't allow for women to be as free as men are. Yes. Now I will ride with them. Mm. I will ride with them. If you're asking for freedom to be, you have to be able to give it to ask for it. Yeah. And that's what I'm willing to do. So and that template in this country is not understood. But I'm not, I'm not saying I'm going to be here forever. So whatever the future holds for me, I'm willing to have this or whatever template I can have it. Hope I know Mario, but she get, she get boo. And they have an understanding. Templates, marriage is a template. People built that, human beings built that. God blessed it. Because at some point, people couldn't understand certain things. This is the 2022. A lot is out there, a lot of people doing different things. A lot of people don't understand my narrative, they question it, they think it's fake. I dare you try and be easy. I dare you try and No, it's not easy. I've seen, I've seen a like, bunch of stuff Nothing done. good is easy. I'm not saying I'm even perfect or it's so perfect that you should try it. No, it's a lot of hard work. As a matter of fact, please don't. Please don't. Has there been any time you felt, you're, you're very different from yeah. the conventional and mm -hmm. you know this, you're very well aware of it, you're very comfortable in it. Yeah. Has there been any time you felt ashamed of who you were, wished you were like the rest of the people? <sighs> Has there been times like that? Uh, in the past, a lot of times. Um, and then, like I said, the, all the knowledge that I have, street taught me. So I looked at Agbiru's, I studied them for a minute. The, the most anashaos, the most downcasted human beings in the world. So someone would be, um, would be projected as an angel. Mm. Um, no life has no life. But this is a human being who feels shame, regrets, um, gratitude. So imagine being on the streets, two for seven, someone they hit you. Nobody, no human being would choose that life. Not one to sleep on the streets to be seen as the worst the scum of the earth. Nobody. Now, but to survive, you eat your shame up. That is a reality. That is somebody's life. Mm. Respect it. You don't leave it. You can't judge it. And Ashao is probably taking space for an entire family in one slum somewhere, paying bills for family, giving love to an entire family by being called or taking up the role of the most downcasted human being on earth just to love another set of human beings. When you switch perspective from judgment to appreciation, you will see a lot. And they taught me that shame should only come from outside. If you find purpose in duty, you should serve. And that was when shame died for me. Agbe and Ashao killed every bit of shame I owned my narrative, I owned the life I was given, within the narrative he was given, and he lost every power to hurt me. Mm. I took my shit back. Bro. Snatched it back. Any chance you consider politics? Politics, God forbid. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now. God forbid. I Service to the people. The people. I could do it just being an individual, um, serving the government, serving the private industry. I just, I don't want to, I think politics is such game. I don't play games. I'm all about truth. They'll kill me in no time. And now, not like I'm saying it's that dirty or anyone's going to do that, but I'm just saying it's not a game I'm willing to play. I want to speak truth. I want to serve the government. I want to serve the private uh, community. I want to create value for the private organizations. I want to create value for the government. I want to create value for the people. I want to be that guy. Go read on the narrative of Hermes, the Greek mythology issue in the Nigeria, um, in the Yoruba mythology, 
the, the God of knowledge, wisdom, because it says he mentioned God in the Greek mythology, but a messenger God will know everything about everybody because when you send a message, please, when you post that God, tell her this, tell her that, he has all the knowledge. He's, he has taken your templates and for a God, he must be intelligent. So when he takes all of that data, imagine processing it and what you can do with data as wisdom. And with all this wisdom, that pain, pleasure, and everything that I've been through is teaching me, I want to serve. I want to serve humanity, and that's it. That's Sir, it. Serve me up some information now. <laughs> <laughs> your life, your life has definitely changed with you know Big Brother. Most definitely. Um, I mean, the money's coming your way. Hopefully, I ain't seen it yet. I'm waiting for it. Fan love. I'll fly. I saw all those, uh, you know, all those money cake. When's my own coming? I actually haven't reached out to my fans. I ain't told them where because God, I got Why? their fans. Because if they come to this hotel, you people will choke. You're not going to go to your house. <laughs> the hotel will shut down. <laughs> so I have to look out for the establishment. <laughs> because if I pull out a location now, people will go track, go track. People will go run. People fair, go fair. We saw, I, saw, I saw the parades on the streets. So any chance, are you going to still stay in the, in the hood or are you going to move out? Um, uh, if I stay in the hood, I'll be choked. <laughs> I don't go feel sleep. I don't go feel breathe. Um, um, it's not me being proud. I'm going back to the hood. I don't go wear shirts. I will chew my ugly with friends. I go to the market. I'll give love to the women there because women don't get the credit that they deserve. They go to every, go to every market space. Guess who is most popular in that place? Women, women. serving their families in a very tough condition. God. I'll go there, I'll give them love. I know they'll be happy to see me. I'll be very happy to see them as well. We're gonna have a whole thing to share love. If I get money to give me, I'll go spread down. I'll develop a template for which it could go around without fighting all of that. But I'm not about to go, I don't have money to give like that. I just got a lot of love and I know mm. I'm loved as well. We're just gonna go share vibes, share energy, vibrate each other. I'm gonna take all that prayer in. I'm gonna kneel down and get all that, you know, heartfelt prayer from these hardworking women from their chairs. They will pray for me, look at me, and put their all their hand on it and say, Oh my, I die for it. And I will take that and I'll go and walk. Let somebody come at me. I'm not fighting you, bro. Like, why are you? <laughs> like, come on. It's a dramatic like, effect. What's it gonna be? Oh, yeah, it's, it's a dramatic, dramatic effect. It's a dramatic effect. Let them come at me, bro. Again. We're gonna add the music there. Can we have a zoom in? Zoom. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to ask you what's next, but, but, just wait. <laughs> I must we, wait. Wait. I must wait. Really really catch me every time. I, let, okay. I, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I want to ask you what's next, I, yeah, yeah. but I feel like you already have a lot of things going on for you. So I'd rather ask you what's new. What is the new thing that we will see from Hermes out of your time in the house? Did anything change you while you were there? Did you learn anything new? Is there anything new that we will see? So, I mean, like I said, hard work, the only thing I got to give, have to give. And with hard work, I learn a lot because I keep putting it in. I'm never losing the capacity. As a matter of fact, I'm losing the capacity to put in the hard work. And to be honest, one thing I feel like I really learned is tethered to his emotional intelligence. Um, if I went in the house, Mm. If I had differences with anyone, I'd just find templates to totally avoid you. And in the house, you can't avoid people that you have differences with, so you have to confront them. And if I would confront differences, I would just label the entire human being as bad. Mm. Because you did this and you want to be bad to do that. What I learned in the house is people would do things. And I learned how to seclude characters that I didn't find so pleasant and to say that this thing that you did and to confront that I didn't have the energy, I didn't think it was possible, but I learned how to do that in the house. And I feel like that's such a trait to, to have, to diplomatically state that this thing doesn't exactly sit well with me and to say it in such a way that this person is willing to accept it and to understand that it doesn't work with you and to make a journey towards change. Because yeah, you could tell person say, I'm gonna get out, get out, get out. And what you're saying is actually valid, but the way that you say the approach is what I learned. Approach will make them not want to even change. Like, who are you to tell me that? So how I learned how to tell somebody that, you know what, it's bad and I, I can't deal with it. I know how I might work with other people, please try to make an effort towards me. It doesn't sit well with me. I don't I don't do well in that environment. So please make an effort towards understanding. If you if you like to. And if you don't, we would like to. I already learned how to avoid you. So I call for in space. Fair enough. You don't have to fight. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. So I got balance now. That's dope. I like that I balance. balance. I like that balance. I'm looking forward to more wins. You yes, know, sir. Yes, in sir. Your life. And to celebrate those wins, here's a. Uh, about to make me cry. 
because all these hmm, interviews, Jesus, it's been a lot. And I just felt like I needed something to keep me going, to keep me walking. Yeah, to keep walking. Can we add dramatic music now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No violin, violin. You know, to keep me walking. Yeah. You know, you find the energy to keep me walking. Yeah. And now you gotta hand me something Let's walk to keep me walking. You. And that's exactly walk towards me, brother. <laughs> You're not going nowhere. I need energy. I need the reason to keep walking. I need the reason to keep walking. And you give me that. God damn, I appreciate this. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. I feel like the next couple of days are about to be super stressful. It will be. But I gotta keep walking. Hermes, welcome to your new life. Thank you. I mean, you, you worked for it, you chased it. Um, looking forward to seeing your exploits uh, taking you down on the field. When I run into you again, uh, you wish. <laughs> said what I said. But to the fans who want to keep up with Hermes, you know, his social media is on your screen right now. Mine's on there as well. Follow Bella Niger across all social media platforms. As usual, show some love in the comment section below. Hey, can you let me do my thing? You want, do you want to do, you wanna, do, you wanna do it? Do you want to do it? Do you want to? All right, guys, we're out. <laughs>